Welcome everyone to my 2024 Halloween reveal and I'm going to start outside a little bit and I'll do one more at night just so you can see the lights on but the reason why I'm starting outside and then wor working my way in is I think I started at the front door when I was showing you the mess and what it takes to kind of go behind the scenes and get an idea of all the work that goes into decorating i think there's a lot of people out there that do decorating and unless you're really in in it and doing it you have no idea if you're as over the top and crazy as i am for this holiday what actually goes into it so um let's get into it um this guy right here is so cool and i don't have the lights on right now because you can't really see it but he pulls his head off. I got him from Lowe's and he, hopefully when the trick-or-treaters come up this way and come up to my door, they will get the pants scared off. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go through the gate. And like I said, if you recall, I had the Halloween bomb, the tornado, and it looks so bad. I was mortified actually, but you know what? It serves its purpose. You can kind of see the end result. So here, and by the way, I love that sound because it's pretty authentic to what a Halloween gate would sound like. But here is my front porch and um, did a couple of little different things. Oops, I forgot to pull off a tag, but I'm gonna ring the doorbell. And these candles light up. Um, I'll turn those on at night when I go to film the at night. And so do the hay bales. Um, and then that skull has some mist, um, kind of like a dry ice effect coming out of his, whoops, eyes. And it's kind of cool. It gives a spooky vibe. Um, so let's go in. There's Grover. So this is the, the visual that I took and, um, and then I turned my attention over to the bomb. So um, this is the look. And I've got an effect that looks like, um, it looks better in the night because it sounds like thunder and lightning and it's pretty cool. You can kind of see it up on the ceiling. Um, I don't think I had art. No, I did not have artwork on the walls. I had stripped the walls and there was no artwork. And I had a couple of different things to share with the buzzards. And then we're gonna go in here. These were one of my purchases too that I got this year. Um, I love them. I got them at At Home. They're, I would say like maybe 18, 24 inches tall. They're pretty cool. And um, Spider lights up. I can get him to turn on. Might not be able to with the one hand very easily. Nope, I can't. And so anyway, we'll get back to that. Um, this turned out, I think, really well. It's my antique art. It's over 200 years old. But it looks like it's kind of something I brought in for Halloween, although I really didn't. It's going to stay there. It came out of a cathedral. Very cool. Um, that spider in the window lights up at night. And then I have, of course, this is one of my favorites. Let's see. I can make you go on. Yeah. There's, you can see kind of the 
um, effect of the thunder and lightning. I think it looks really cool. And let's see. Oh, did I can't move? Yeah, I left that on. I think he's really neat too. But if this was a disaster in here. Uh, I said it wasn't the worst, but it actually was the worst. There's so many different things thrown everywhere, and there's those crows with the lights in their mouth. They look pretty neat. Um, my tiny cabinet. And I liked how this whole tablescape turned out. I think it, it ended up being really cool. And I was kind of afraid because it looked scary, not in a good way. Um, I just have things everywhere. And my light fixture. I had a great time decorating that too. And my cute friend who owns a gift shop gave this to me last year when I was sick for my birthday and I just think it's so cute. I added the ribbons and the ribbon actually has little spiders. I think it's supposed to go on a wreath but I thought it looked cute on this witch. And normally I have these curtains behind that uh, gothic arch but when the gothic arch wasn't there and I just thought I'd try them over here and I think they look great so yeah anyway um let's see what else this candelabra turns on as well flickers and just try to make this like a spooky bar cart um yeah I think everything turned out really great considering what it looked like before it was kind of a disaster so um we'll kind of make our way into the kitchen and you can kind of see how that all turned out as well too because that was also a disaster but i think everything turned out pretty good and of course we had to pay homage to grover this is my little skelly uh, Dachshund guy. I think he turned out really cute. And um, let's just kind of, sorry about the shaking of this. We're going to go down and make our way into the kitchen. Do I decorate every inch of the house? Pretty much, even the bathroom. <laughs> Not too much though, but a little bit, a little bit. I love this holographic art. It's pretty cool, huh? Um, and then I got this guy and he lights up too, but he's on a timer. So I didn't turn these guys on, but Flicker Flame, it's, I think it's, it's handmade. It's pretty cool. I think I got it on Etsy. No, I got it on Amazon, I lied. There's something scary. This guy is being so good. Right, Kenj? Yeah. So we'll make our way over into here. And this is another bar card. I was trying to keep people out of the kitchen um, when we have people over. And I set this up and I kind of never took it down. Say hi, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> um, it's, it's actually just kind of stayed there and collects mail mostly. But another thing I do, I am using it as an excuse to decorate. So yeah, there's a couple little things here that I think are really cute. Like this guy, that's Grover. Um, put some little, uh, bottles of wine. I don't drink them because I'm sure they're not very good. But yeah, here is the kitchen. Um, there's just a few things in here. I'm trying to think like Halloween mugs. Um, 
that blood is actually supposed to go in my fountain outside, which will be really cool. But uh, let me just do this. Um, this is kind of, I'm trying to, oops, got some dishes in the sink. Sorry. Oh, I know what I want to show you. This is really cool. Um, these candles that you can see hanging over here. I do a little Harry Potter thing. Just give me a second and I will show you. But I loved how this turned out too. Um, up on top, oh, top of my cabinets. I think he turned out, that little skeleton lights up as well. Um, I think this turned out really cute. The little pumpkins light up, but I didn't climb up there to turn them on yet. Um, but let's do the Harry Potter thing because I think it turned out really cute. Let's see, here's the wand. I got these at Michael's and I thought they were a pretty good deal. I can't remember what Harry Potter says, but see, look how cute. Aren't they adorable? There's white and black and a rat. <laughs> And then you can see some spider legs. I actually decorated my backyard too, and it turned out very well. Um, you can kind of see some things out there. There's like a skeleton. Just a second, I'll zoom in. I'm, do, I'm kind of roaming around, so I need to stick to what I was actually going to show you, which is the rest of the kitchen. I loved how this light fixture turned out too. Um, I think it's the best one I've done so far. I'm just gonna try to turn myself and zoom in. That's a cute little cat. Let's see if I can get him any better. He has the cutest little face. Very vintage looking and it's got like a boo sign. You can see it very well. You can kind of see it, but not great. And um, some pumpkins. I love this light fixture. I got this one on Etsy for sure. They're actually oil cans. And um, upside down oil cans that have a light in them. Oh, <laughs> I think that's kind of neat too. I have bugs everywhere. I kind of take my inspiration from my favorite movies. This one with um, the Bugs' Creep Show. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Flies, I believe, were Amityville. So I've got some flies in different spots. But I love a vintage look. And, um, you know, like these kind of little paper mache things, I think are literally so cute. And that one reminds me of my nephew when he was little. Um, but I just like having that cute little old fashioned vintage look. And this my neighbor left for me when I first moved in and I just think it's really fun. It does this, uh, different, I can't do this. Heartbeat. Witch or alien, I'm not sure what that is, but I just thought it was so cool. She didn't actually tell me what that she left it, so I was it was like a little gift, and I'm like, oh my god, how cool. My neighbor is so awesome. Oh, here are the flies. I think all my neighbors think I'm crazy, and I probably am but it literally is my favorite holiday. So we're gonna make our way in here. And um, I've had a lot of these pieces for a really long time, like this. Oh, I can use this wand as a pointer. That's cool. Um, this I got at this place called Taipan and it's gone. I feel kind of bad about it, but there's some other places that are kind of similar. At home is similar. Um, they're just maybe not as uh, 
maybe authentically, like they kind of look a little more reproduced. But if you want to find things like that, you can look on Etsy. And um, here's my rats. Where do I get the rats from? I can't remember what the inspiration for rats, uh, other than the fact that they're just very creepy. But the ravens were um, like the omen. That scene where she's getting her eyes pecked out, that's pretty gross. But um, I got these from a cute little store this year. Um, I ordered this garland on Amazon. And yeah, like for the most part, my husband's watching football. Um, I've had, oh, here's another Taipan. I love this guy. This is what I'm talking about. It's just so stinking cute. I think he, they, they just remind me of those old vintage gourd, Sawan, that, that whole um, vibe where people used to use gourds, hollowed out gourds, and it's kind of how Halloween started. I read that on Martha Stewart. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to decorate the dog's beds. So they got a little pillow and hopefully they don't ruin them. Um, same thing with this guy. So cute. More garland. Just kind of a lot of very vintage muted colors. That's kind of what I like. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. The um, fireplace mantle turned out, I think, you know, I kind of do it the same a lot every year. It's got these little wooden blocks that say trick or treat. I think they're pretty cute. Um, that frame actually was black and I painted it and I kind of made it look old. I should put cobwebs on it. That would look even cooler. Um, See that little ghost? I just think he is so cute. I mean, he's got it like a little balloon, but it's actually a witch's head. You can see his hand holding it. Um, Taipan again. A little witch boot. Taipan again. Um, I bought a lot of stuff from there. Um, this I bought from a store a long time ago called the Vintage Ragabond, and it is also gone, which is really sad. Um, let's see. Cute little pumpkin. Uh, again, I think it was Taipan or Vintage Ragabond, maybe Vintage Ragabond. This was Taipan um spirit halloween i think that's about it really oh more curtains and i think these are neat i kind of put them in the same spot every year but they're i don't know where i got these taipan i think yeah so we'll kind of go in the laundry room and there's just a little bit in there too that's kind of cute um like last year i think i got a couple little pillows like these and kind of did a black and white theme with some orange because there's some earthy oranges in here that I thought it would look really well. But anyway, um, yeah, this pretty much concludes my tour inside. So now you can kind of see everything, how it all got put together and how... I didn't think I was gonna get it all put together. But anyway, um, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and seeing my inspiration um, for Halloween and what I love. And um, we will say goodbye. Say goodbye, Kenji. I think he's all Halloweened out. He's had it. Anyway, um, happy Halloween, everyone. And we'll see you next year.